And you're taking a look at it, 77 inch reach for Tony Johnson. He needs to utilize that against Mertesalaya because 72.5, he's got good stand up skills, but not the stand up and the hands that Tony Johnson does use that length. Let's go to the man in the middle, Michael C. Williams. From here in San Jose, California, Bellator 292, the prelims continue now as we go three five minute rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing the blue corner at six foot two, weighing in 184.8 pounds. His professional record eight wins, four losses, presenting Tony Johnson. And across the cage, his adversary out of the red corner at six foot, weighing in 186 pounds even as a professional, 16 victories, three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Halid Mertazalie. And the referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Alid Mertazaliev, 16 and 3 with 13 knockouts. Tony Johnson, 8 and 4 with 5 KOs. And they'll be looking to chuck leather early here. The first of three rounds at 185 pounds. And if you're Tony Johnson, you've got to just tell yourself, don't worry about the wrestling. I've got to do what I'm best at. That's the stand up. I'm going to use my hands. I'm going to create the angles that I can land shots and do damage to them. The loss to Rasta snapped Tony Johnson's four fight winning streak. Sharp jab that missed for Johnson, range finder. And of course there, you know, we see these athletes wanting to cross over MMA to boxing, the rivalry between the two sports back in the day. Two completely different sports, and for a variety of reasons, and yet how does Tony Johnson's boxing background help him in this scenario? Well, it helps him because he knows how to create the angles. Look at his footwork, look how he moves. You see that lateral movement right there? He sets himself up, he gives the feint, and then he's, when he throws, it's quick, it's snappy, it's got power on it. He's pushing Mertelzaliev back with that power, making him take steps backwards, and he just needs to continue on and just up the volume. Mertelzaliev, respectful of Tony Johnson striking, but feels he can exploit his lack of wrestling as Johnson throws a, a kick up high, and Mertelzaliev landing a kick south of the border. And that is one way to stop Tony Johnson in his tracks. And that was delivered at high velocity, John. That was high velocity, and there wasn't a whole lot of movement to make it to where you could say it was based upon Tony basically stopped at it. So it wasn't off of Tony Johnson's movement creating that situation. That was more just a poorly you placed a and targeted you weapon. You're good? All right, hold on a minute. Okay, hey, do not do this again. You understand me? Yeah, do not mess up again. Yep. All right, ready? It took all of 32 seconds for Tony Johnson to restart, and uh, Jason Herzog, I know he's earned your respect over the years, and uh, talk about the way he handled that situation. Well, he looked at it that at 30, and this is the difference. Tony Johnson took 32 seconds. What is that telling you, Mara? Well, maybe it didn't affect you as much as you were kind of, you know, thank you. Thank you so the Oscars much. are tomorrow night. Exactly. Tony Johnson, perhaps, no, just kidding, never want to take a What a go behind by Murta Zalia takes the back of Johnson, and this is where Murta Zalia said Johnson would be at his weakest, and this is where Murta Zalia wants to dominate. And it was what Murta Zalia did when you saw him grab the right arm of Johnson to pull him away from being able to get himself back up. A uh, Very nicely done. Yeah, aggressive attack on the ground. Still on that arm. By Halid Murta Zalia and Tony Johnson on his back. Midway through the first round, now side control employed by Murta Zaliev has Johnson in trouble against the fence. He also, but, take a look at that right arm. Look where that right arm is at. It is underneath his body, so Murta Zaliev is controlling that arm 
keeping it there so he's got an open side to attack. Just over two minutes left here in the first round. Tony Johnson, boxer, background, boxing background, had some success in the stand-up. Murtazalia biding his time, able to take the fight to the ground, and now controlling Tony Johnson with under two minutes left in the round. Tony was able to get that right arm back. He's looking towards that Kimura grip. And he needs to get himself back to at least a guard, get himself towards the cage so you can use that as a balance point to get yourself back to your feet. Minute and a half now left in the first, and it's now Tony Johnson employing the guard as Murta Zaliev with some short strikes. And Johnson trying to land an elbow from his back. Not settling, very active from his back, trying to find a way to turn the tables. Going to be difficult against a guy with the credentials in this position of Halid Murtazalia. Someone who's got the grappling base and the expertise that you're seeing with Murtazalia. He's just dominant in these because he'll, he'll actually let you get back to your feet and then bring you right back down, a la Nurmagomedov and way Habib used to do it. It's that Dagestani style. I was going to say, it's in the Dagestani DNA. Yep. And under, now 45 seconds left with Murta Zaliev controlling the action on the ground, trying to deliver a knee, but Tony Johnson and the crowd here in San Jose where he fights out of, showing their appreciation for his heart and his guts to get back to his feet, but Murta Zaliev looking to take him back down via mat return. Yeah, and exactly that's what you're looking at because at no time did you see Tony Johnson break the hands of Murta Zaliev. He is in that position where he's still in that bad at body lock. He's going to use little foot sweeps to try to bring Tony right back down. And so we begin the second round. Five minutes that saw Tony Johnson try to showcase his sweet science, but it was Halid Murtazaliev who took the fight to the ground and then controlled the action, John. That is exactly it. And, and you're going to see the same thing here. Tony's going to be trying to hunt him down with the hands, trying to use the stand up. And Murtazaliev is going to just wait for his opportunity to try to get into the body, get to the legs. Of Tony Johnson put him back onto the canvas. Tony Johnson trained by Ron Kessler, their team at American Kickboxing Academy, AKA, AKA. Oh, snap kick there by Murta Zalia. Murta Zalia backing up. Much the same as Julius Englund's good last fight when you don't want to go back straight at any time, but against the guy with the boxing credentials of Johnson, you're playing with fun. But the one thing Tony Johnson needs to do here, he's got to up the output. Yes. Right now, he's giving feints and every now and then throwing those hands, but you've got to give him something to really have to deal with. There's a jab that caught Mertz's up and footwork on display from Tony Johnson, but yet needs to ratchet up the offensive attack. According to our stats right now, he's landing just 18%, eight of 44 for Tony Johnson in the striking department compared to 26 of 38 for Murta Zalia. And on cue, John. On cue of that, you see that eight of 45. The 26, a lot of those were when he was in the ground position. And he was able to land some shots. There's right a shot, speaking of shots, a different kind of shot. Beautiful open area. He's got him away from the cage, makes it more difficult for Tony to be able to use that as a balance point to get himself up. After going one for two in the takedown department and controlling the majority of the round in this position in the opening round, now Murtazalia, one for one in this second stanza, and immediately Johnson again looking for that double wrist lock or Kimura grip. Yeah, it's really not there for him, and he needs to really look at trying to get himself from that half guard, at least get the back on that cage. Nice work by Tony Johnson. Johnson, 39 years of age, against the 29-year-old Halid Murtazalia. Midway point of the round and the fight, John. Murtazalia has taken that arm, the right arm, to 
Taking the left arm of Tony Johnson, getting it away from him so he cannot post up on it. And leverage himself into a point where he can get those legs underneath him. But Murtis Leo has those hands clasped around those legs. Tony's not going to be able to go anywhere right at this moment. Johnson made his pro MMA debut back in April of 2007 for Strike Force when Owen won, lost to Eric Lawson. And of course, 17 years ago today, the very first Strike Force event was held here at the Shark Tank. Scott Coker now the president of Bellator MMA promoting his first event. And Murtaz Aliyev imposing his will and skill on Tony Johnson, has his back, delivers the knee to the gluteus Maximus. Always like saying that, John. Cheeky of me, I know. It is a muscular region. Nice job. There goes that mat return. And that's that's demoralizing when you're toning your work so hard to get yourself back to your feet. And then all of a sudden now you're back on the ground. Askey shall receive Scott Coker on this day 17 years ago. I promoted the first MMA event in California, featured a couple of pretty good lightweights. And uh, we had, of course, uh, not only Nate Diaz in action, but Josh Thompson and Clay Guida for the lightweight title. Gilbert Melendez, pro MMA debut at Kung Lee, Frank Shamrock, smashing Cesar Gracie at 21 seconds. It was a monument monumental event and here now Murta Zalia still controlling Tony Johnson but Johnson on his feet looking to break the grip unable to do so well, right again there goes all that work to get back to your feet and you're in the same position that squirt starts to become demoralizing as a fighter the one thing that I, as I'm looking at Murta Zalia he needs to start to at least start to try to do some damage Pass the guard here, open up, start landing some punches, or go for some type of submission if you can get yourself to the position. Now he's got that wrist. The right wrist of Tony is being controlled. Smothering top control from Halida Murta Zaliev. Johnson trying desperately to find a way to get back in his feet, try to find a way to get back into this fight. We have reached the final five minutes of this middleweight contest. There's no doubt right now we've got Murta Zaliev up. Two rounds to nothing. Tony Johnson's got to change the momentum of this fight. He's got to do damage with those hands. And a big reason that he is up on your scorecard is the fact that Murta Zaliev three for four in the takedown department through the first two rounds. One of two in the opening five minutes, two of two in the middle three. Well, he's taken away the best skill set of Tony Johnson, and that's part of fighting, is it? Defense is allowed in MMA. It's an amazing thing. And that defense is sometimes taking away the ability of your opponent to use something they've trained really hard to be good at, and they are, but they cannot implement it in the fight when they're on their back. Jack by Murtazalia now resetting the L. Utilizing the L for footwork and backing up. Now Johnson becoming a little desperate. You can see it, John, lunging forward. There takes a kick, although he checked him. And you can also see he's a little bit tired. Yep. The, the punches are not as crisp. They're not and as when crisp. you're under the pressure of Murtazuliev on the ground, and you're oh, yeah. right, you, you are sapping the strength. And and at least Tony Johnson tried to reverse position, but was unable to. Now is just trying to desperately stalk, hunt down Murtazulia. Try to get him in his range where he can try to land that. Come from behind. Home run win. Nice body kick by Johnson. Oh, that was a nice right hand by Murtazulia. Yeah, good counter. Trying to give Tony Johnson some luck. Almost landed that uppercut. And again, finds himself in the familiar position of Murtazalia, taking him down to the ground, putting him on his, on his back, and now providing him with top pressure. Wash, rinse, repeat for Halid Murtazaliev. And of course, you you want to pick up the win. The most important thing, you want to do it the the way that you see fit. And for Murtazaliev, anything you want to see more out of him in terms of what he brings to this fight here tonight and where he is in this position? You know, you can't complain about anything he's done because it's successful. He's, that's working for him. And so if it's working, why change it? The one thing, if I can add something to it, 
in these positions. You know what, bring the head up over, posture up, bring more power on those shots. He's gonna do just a little bit more to slow Tony Johnson down again. Marta Zaliev has now had Tony Johnson on the mat for over six minutes of ground control in this fight, while Tony Johnson has not controlled the fight on the ground for a single second. And now, Marta Zaliev transitioning to the back, has one hook in, but against that fence, a little wall stall from Tony Johnson. Tony's using it to keep Zaliev from getting to his back. It's a nice job, it's smart use of the cage, but he's gonna end up being pushed right over. Just like you're seeing. You're seeing the arm being taken away. Now he's right back down. There's some ground and pound of right hand as Murta Zaliev looks to put in the hooks, has the waist lock. Johnson with a back fist, oh, a back elbow to Murta Zaliev. A minute and a half left in the fight. How much fight left in Tony Johnson? The 39-year-old coming off a loss back in April of 2021. <laughs> and in the fight against Dalton Rosta, he did have success getting back to his feet at times and took that away as a bit of a moral victory, but no luck here tonight. He can use that fence right now, try to walk his way around. Final minute. Not able to do it right now. Light control, knee strikes to the ribcage by Murta Zaliev. And Murta Zaliev goes right into full mount. This beautiful little slice with the knee through there. Right over the top. And now has the hooks in and has time left. 38 seconds looking for the position here as the arm the triangle. Arm triangle. <laughs> Tony Johnson with that phone block needing to call 911. Less than 30 seconds left in the fight. Still enough time for Murta Zaliev to get it done. There's enough time, but he needs to pass that leg. He needs to drop those hips down to the mat. That's gonna create more pressure if he's able to do it. He can get it here, but it's gonna be tighter if he can come off to the side. Johnson's first loss was via rear naked choke in his, against Eric Lawson at strike force, and now he survives that arm triangle choke attempt, but does not survive the Smothering top pressure from Halid Murtazaliyev in this fight, John. Nah. Michael C. Williams has the name of the winner about to come out of his mouth. Ladies and gentlemen, for the decision, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side. Brandon Saucedo, Chris Lee, Michael Gingona all have it exactly the same at 30 to 27. But the winner by unanimous decision, Halid Murtazaliyev.